I got me a brand new Bobcat ZT2000. Stick around, you'll see all about it. Hey guys, welcome back to King's Outdoor Life. A little different angle this morning. Driving down the road, don't know how the acoustics are, but hope you can hear me all right. So a little different video today. I usually don't show a whole lot of me just talking, but today is drive day. We're headed to Hazel Green, Alabama, just north of Huntsville, to pick up my brand new zero turn mower made by Bobcat. Yes, Bobcat makes zero turn mowers. And in doing my research, they have the best warranty and some of the best service records and everything of all the zero turns out there. So that's why I went with Bobcat, but you can't find them. Like everything else here, if, if you're watching this video, I don't know when you're watching this video, but here it is June of 2021. You can't find zero turns or tractors or hardly anything for that matter all over the country. The supply chain goof up because of the pandemic has everything back ordered and goofed up. But anyway, I finally got mine in. I'm headed to pick it up today. So I, I was thinking, I've never bought a brand new mower. So I'll do the first part of my video kind of talking about my history of mowers. It's kind of funny. My first mower, as soon as I got out of college, we rented a house on South Main Street from Miss Margaret Hawk. Many people may remember Miss Margaret, but anyway, precious lady, had a little bit of yard. I had a push mower. That's what I mowed my yard with. Well, the next year we bought a house and the guy in my farm that I worked with in Huntsville, he was um, tired of mowing his yard. He was doing well in the business. He's going to pay somebody to mow his yard. He says, Ty, you want my mower? I said, sure. I'll, he said, if you'll come get it, I'll give it to you. So I went and got it. It was an old Murray that it was, it was pretty good shape. It was, you know, back then Walmart sold these Murray lawn mowers and I went and got it and free mower lasted me, I think, eight years. I think I'm over the mower seven years to eight years anyway with a free mower. And we moved to our new house and he was kind of getting on his last leg. Well, my neighbor, Doug, he was a neat, neat guy and his mower was on its last leg. So he went and brought a brand new Cub Cadet and he says, hey, Ty, you want my mower? And I said, well, it's, it's smoking like, a, like my Aunt Martha. But, uh, you know, it's probably in better shape than my mower. So I went and got his mower, and I sold my mower that I got for free for like 100 bucks. And it was like seven years later. Anyway, I got like 100 bucks for it. And I took that mower for free, drained all the oil, put in new oil, and changed out all the fluids, tuned it up a little bit, and it mowed like a champ. Well, about that time, he had just bought that brand new Cub Cadet. He goes to the new bank that was kind of came into town, did a grand opening and did a drawing for a lawnmower. Well, he entered, Doug, my neighbor, entered that brand new lawnmower. It was a John Deere LA-110. And he entered to win, even though he just bought a brand new Cub Cadet. And he won the new mower. So he puts it in his basement. Well, Doug dies just a few months later. He had cancer. Precious man. He died a few months later. Well, about a year later, the mower he gave me, he was already on his last leg. It was really in bad shape. So I talked to Doug's widow, and I said, hey, that lawnmower y'all won, would you sell it to me? She said, oh, sure. And it had like two hours on it. They never used it. They just stuck it in their, in their basement. I paid like $1,000 for, for the mower, and I think I sold the one he gave me for like $100 again. So anyway... Maybe 250 but anyway, don't let the details get in the way of a good story. So I bought that mower from them, went to get it, it wouldn't crank. Brand new, like two hours on it, wouldn't crank. I've got it cranked. No, I didn't get it cranked. I had pushed it on the trailer, carried it to the lawnmower place, the John Deere dealership that had given away the mower, and they were like, oh my gosh, this mower has never been used, and it won't crank. We'll, we'll fix it for free. They just rebuilt the carburetor or something. It had gunked up gas in it. So anyway, I'm over that one for a couple of years, and then the John Deere place, I was telling her I wanted a bagger, and uh, she said, I'll keep an eye out for you. And she called me a few months later and said, hey, I got a bagger. It's an X300R. It's a rear bagger, and um, I'll sell it to you right because nobody wants it. So I took and traded that LA-110 to the X300R, which I still have. So in my 20-something years of having houses, I've had a push mower and, like, I guess three riding lawnmowers. And I've got a grand total of like $1,500 in all of them. 
So anyway, today I'm going to spend more than I would ever think to spend on a mower, but hopefully it'll last me for a very long time. Tell me right. how to run this thing. Pull your, pull your brake up. Brake up. Got it. These have got to be out. These are out. Got it. All you got to do is put a five back or choke it. Now tell me, do we get, I got a better angle than you do. I'm going to take a few cranks because of the gas. Yeah. So here's the walk around on the new Bobcat ZT2000. The one I bought is a 52 inch deck. That's why it says 52 here. And on this side here, you'll see it says tough deck. One of the patented features of the Bobcat Zero Turn is this extra thick welded on rolled front edge. That's what takes the most wear and tear of your deck is that front edge. It's got a anti-scout roller here, one on each corner. Of course, you got the pivot wheels in the front. Something new about this year's model is the chains that suspend the deck here. This is where you get your adjustment to adjust for level. It's got a chain on the front and the back of the deck in order to level it. So to raise and lower the deck, you've got a pedal here and you have a height adjustment here. So you can raise that pin and put it where you want it to get the height you want to mow. So right now it's on two and a half. We'll just have to adjust it to see where we want to be. The chute here, I like because it stays up in any position. You know, most people, they'll drill a hole or something in order to put this up so the chute can be up or down. And if you want it down, obviously it stays down. If you want it up, it stays up or in any position. So over time, that may loosen these bolts here just from wear and tear may loosen and it may go down and we'll have to rig up something to hold it up but i like the fact it holds up so parking brake here on and off in order to crank it or get off of it, you have to have the parking brake up and if you don't have the parking brake up you can't lift the handles out in order to get off over here the instrument panel get your choke your pto blades throttle the key and the hour meter when i got on it it was 0.0, .0 hours it's first for me never had a brand new mower so it have 0, 0.0 hours was cool and your key to crank it let's flip the seat up oh what we do this right here has got one bolt there most people take that off he says because this is how you access your belts so you can take this loose blow off your belts and everything after you finish because grass will collect there we flip up the seat, comes all the way back. Got your owner's manual in here, your battery is here. These two pumps, those are your hydraulic or hydrostatic pumps for each axle. Obviously with the zero turn, right and left wheels turn separately. Those pumps are what drive those. You'll also get grass that will pile up. I'll turn the camera and let you see right down in there. You'll have to blow that grass out and you'll want to do that. Engine oil, that's where you put engine oil in. This is how you drain engine oil. 
I've never seen an engine oil drain up higher than the motor, but I also realize it's, you take this loose, drop it down through that hole right there, and that drains the oil so it doesn't pull up beside your motor there. So I thought that was a cool feature. The air filter is here, and I bought this sponge air filter. It's a little bit additional cost, but then you can wash this sponge with soap and water and keep that clean, keep cleaner air going in your motor. Carburetor's back here. Your fuel lines obviously come around here. Spark plug back here, and the red connections there is your solenoid for your starter. This side on the ZT2000 is not a gas tank. On the more industrial models, they'll have dual gas tanks. And on the previous Bobcat, the green and black mowers, both sides was a gas tank. So your only gas tank is here, and that's where you add the gas. And obviously it's recommended to use ethanol for a gas. It says not E85, but recommended not ethanol at all. It holds three point something gallons. I'll have to read the owner's manual again. I've forgotten how many gallons it holds but pretty efficient there. All right, on the back here, you've got the big orange bobcat. That's like you would see on their excavators and on their skid steers. You've got a place here to bolt on a, a place to hook your attachments, like a trailer or whatever. So that's where you'd bolt that on. We're gonna do some exploring on that. Future videos to come there on what we're gonna bolt on. If you want to add roll bars, they bolt on here. But I've also seen a hole here that I'm very intrigued by that goes down there. I'm, I think I'm gonna put my gun rack mounted in those holes. That'll definitely be a future video. Why would you need a gun rack on a zero turn? Well, you just need a gun rack on everything. And you can put your weed eater on the gun rack, chainsaws, etc. So that's definitely gonna be a future video there. All right, well, let's give it a try and see what it does. The motor is a 23 horsepower Kawasaki and you can see the model number and everything there. So just took it for first spin. I like it. It rides good, cuts well, and so far so good. Asked me in uh, 10 hours. Maybe the best feature is Lawson thinks it's cool. So he's mowing with it. We'll see how long it takes the cool to wear off. <laughs> 